Hi everyone. So today I have this amazing video with me. So basically, I would be providing you a workflow for the Z Image Turbo, and with that, I have also Detail Daemon Sampler like connected with it, so you can play around with it to get more details based on what kind of image you want to generate. And finally, there is an upscaler which is actually amazing. So this is an optional step if you want you can just delete all the nodes here but i like it so you'll get everything in this and let me explain one by one how i did that so the first step is i have been working with axon lab to create this platform for a long time now and here you can see you'll get the link in the description below so basically you'll get amazing prompts and the models that they are created in and a lot of authors are currently whom I know are star have started to just uh, upload their images and prompts as well. So you can get all of these prompts. Not only that, some of the images, uh, some of the prompts are basically node based. So here you can see that you need to like uh, input two of the images, then you provide a prompt. This is the whole timeline how I created the end output. And then this was the output. After that, I combined it with this particular image and it took the color grading. This was the prompt and this was the final output. So it has like the whole processes as well. It also has a lot of different like prompts and this platform mainly focuses on cinematic style prompts to make things look realistic. So yeah, I liked this one. So I have copied this complete prompt now just paste it here for this particular workflow i am using gguf loaders so it can run very easily in even like uh, 8 gb of vram so this is the gguf loader gguf clip loader you'll get all the links in the description so don't worry i am using the q5km version if you want you can go lower than this if your gpu does not support but i think this is like a sweet spot and this produces very good images now after that here you can see i am using the sampler dpm plus plus sd along with the scheduler beta I have seen the quality a lot of people were actually generating with Euler simple but I personally saw that this uh, beta scheduler with DPM++ SD gives way more realistic details. So you maybe if you want to create something like artistic or cartoon or stuff like that anime style maybe other schedulers would be better for but for realistic images I have found this to be the best one. We are using eight steps. This is a turbo model. And along with that, here you can see, I have used the detail daemon sampler. If you want, you can just disable this particular node. But if you want to creep, uh, now sometimes it can create artifacts as well. But uh, in most of the times, it creates a little bit of extra detail, which I personally like. These were my setting. You may need to tweak depending on what you are creating. Now with that being said, this is the first image that was actually created. So here you can see this is not very high quality. I like the composition. It produces exactly what I wanted in the prompt. And you can check out the prompt here as well. So it actually created what I wanted. Almost. But the quality was not that high resolution. And I wanted to add textures and realism and stuff like that. So what happens is that this image goes to the second step. Now the second step is using the upscale method as Weissler scale by 1.5. And here you can choose anything. But when I was using the nearest exact previously, I saw in some particular images, the edges of either the model or some of the subjects were becoming very pixelated. So it was becoming pixelated here in the shoulder, something like that. And that was happening. So I found that Bicelurp is pretty good. You can, you can use Bicubic or Bicelurp. And these are the particular 
settings. Here I have used Euler sample. I did not find much difference by using any other sampler or scheduler, so I kept it at Euler sample. Now this is the output, and here you can see the size has changed. So this was like scale by 1.5. So with that, the total size has changed. Now we'll be taking this image as an input for the third step. And for the third step, here you can see I am using Lancos scale by 0.5. And then here you can see I am using Seed VR. Now for these two nodes, you can just select any of these, whatever your GPU supports. I am using the 3 billion Q4KM GGUF. You don't need to separately download these. Once you run these nodes for the first time, it will automatically download. That is what happened with me. Now, if your particular uh, GPU supports higher VRAM, it has higher VRAM, then you can use something like 256, but I am using these settings. Here, this is pretty much simple. I don't think you need to tweak it a lot. So keep it simple. And this is final image. So I'll show a comparison here. So this was the before, this is the after. Now it does not preserve like exact details as you can see, but it provides a lot of realism. So if you want, you can use this. If you don't want, then you can use any other upscaler for this purpose as well. If you just want to sharpen the edges, that is looking a little bit blurry here. If that is your goal, then you can use any other upscaler. This slightly changes the details. Like you can see, if I show the hair, it is adding way lot of extra uh, strands of hair. But this looks pretty amazing. And even you can see the noise and everything is getting reduced. The skin texture and everything, they look amazing. Let's go here and you can see even the fingers look pretty good. And these are the shoes. So you can see here, we cannot see the laces properly, but now it is pretty good. So that's it. And this takes very less time, even uh, when you have like lower VRAM. I am running this on 8 GB of VRAM. It is pretty amazing in that. If you want, again, you can go to this platform. I'll provide the link in the description. You can select any of these images. Some of them have multiple outputs. So you can see the consistency and you can select any of these prompts and create your own images. If you have any kind of doubts or any kind of questions, you can put it in the comment section below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you.